Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, click that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Give me a huge thumbs up. So, today guys, I am going to be showing you a backhand swing tutorial. So, it's going to be a tutorial where it'll help you get your backhand swing to level three. Or basically just every every level because there's basically a backhand swing in almost every level. I think. My elbow just <laughs> needed it. So the first step is you should do this, like jump like straight up to feel the momentum to go back into a backhand swing. So do that 10 to 15 times, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do that 10 to 15 times. So 10 or 15, it doesn't matter which. Second step is pretty simple. In level three and level two, you always have straight arms and every still and every single skill because because if you don't have straight arms and every single still in every single skill, you won't be able to stabilize yourself. Well, a lot of times they have bent arms when they're doing tumbling and stuff, but in levels like me, in level two and level three and stuff, we don't do that type of tumbling. We only do the like tumbling, like backhand swings, but that's in level three, and I'm training to be in level three. So, let me show you what it's like when I have bent arms. So, this is what it's like. Because you can't stabilize yourself up. So, that's why you always have straight arms. So, the, f the third step. Is this person standing? Eh. Third step, you have to have an arch when you go back. Let me show you what it's like when you just have a straight body. And you won't rotate back. Let me show you what it's like when you have a pike body. And you don't want neither of them. You want an arch body so you can feel the momentum back. Because when you feel the momentum back, then it's going... You can feel the momentum back and it's gonna rotate you backwards. So make sure you have an arch. And if you're scared, just push through it. That's what I did. So, the next step is you have to push off your hands whenever, whenever you Whenever you go back, let me show you what it's like when I don't push off my hands. So I go, and because I was just sitting up in a handstand, and it kind of just feels weird and stuff. But you gotta bounce off your hands so you can land on your feet. Next step: How to land on your feet. So, as usual, you gotta bounce off your hands, but at the same time. Gotta try to get your feet close to your hands whenever you bounce up. It'll, cause if let me show you what it's like when they're super far away. So, okay. you'll slip. So they have to be close, cause you'll either fall on your face or slip, and you could get hurt. So don't do it like that. You always have to land close. So let me show you what it's like when it's close. See, we can do it when it's close. But when it's far away, we slip. I'm sure can I fall. I don't know. <laughs> so, the fourth step, the final step, is being tight. In competition, you never want to be loose because that will deduct scores. Let me show you what, what it looks like when I'm not tight. And you can't stabilize yourself when you're not tight in the arms or the legs. So look. That's super duper loose. But look what happens when I'm tight. I can get up. So that's what you want in your backhand swing. And 
then. You have to glue them all together, like you're putting a sandwich together. And then, you can try your vacuum. Ta-da! Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on the noti and turn on the notification bell to make sure you get notified every time I post a video. Peace out. Bye.